Yeah. Joel, I know you had one for Jeremiah. Drop one to press OK. Nice thing. Oh. How you doing, Jeremiah? Uh, mm -hmm. First thing, so uh, you've really been an inside presence almost all of your career. But with you being at the end of your college career here and maybe looking forward to the NBA, uh, what have you tried to incorporate in your game over this past summer? Um, honestly, just being in better shape. I feel like that's been uh, probably my weakest so far. So I've just been focused on being in better shape and just making my, uh, my mental stronger than, than it was before. Dave? Jeremiah, uh, coach was saying that you are walking and talking like a senior now. How, how are you, how is your approach different? Do you feel like this is different for you? Um, this, this is my last year. I've been here for, for a while now and coached and he didn't preach it enough. So I just feel like some things didn't happen in my life and, and I, and it, it then took me to a different road and, and I got a different vision. So I just been way more locked in and just, Staying focused, and I just feel like since I'm a fourth year now, it's my job to to lead and set examples. If I wanna, if I'm gonna tell somebody something, Eric. Hey Jeremiah, just kind of looking back on what you did last season, what, what did you see as kind of your strengths, even though you had some time out, and what what do you want to work on most going into kind of this season? Um, just running the running the floor. That's gonna be the biggest thing, run the floor and rebounding. Um, like you said, I ain't really I ain't really played much, but when I was out there, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. When I go back and watch the film now, and my biggest thing, I need to run the floor and rebound, at least get 10 rebounds a game. And if I'm, that's if, that, <clears throat> if I'm trying to go to the next level. Sweetie. Hey man. Uh well, what was the NBA process like for you this summer going through it again? And what did you kind of hear from them? They just really told me that I need to, like like I said, run the floor. I need to be able to hit that trail three and get rebounds. That was their main thing. They just, they put a lot of emphasis on that. Natalie. Hey, Jeremiah, I hope you've been doing well in the off season. You know, taking you back to SEC tournament, things get canceled. Now you're here, first day of practice. What do you feel like you've learned about yourself, either yourself or your teammates, throughout this crazy time we've been going through? Um, since we had some time off, I feel like my mind has, has, has got a lot stronger. That's been the biggest thing for me, uh, just staying focused and staying disciplined out, off the court. That's been like a big thing for me. And it's just leaning over to the, to the floor and it's really showing. I just been staying focused, like I said. And, being disciplined with myself. Mitch. Jeremiah, we've seen, you know, at times through your college career where, where the offensive game plan has been more just to, to post you up and get you the ball in the low block um, as often as possible. Now, with a few more guards and some more, uh, you know, emphasis on getting to the rim, do you feel like your role is, is different at all on offense this season? And, and if so, how does that suit you? Um. Uh, I mean, we got, like you said, we got a lot more guards coming in you know, that came in and that can shoot the ball very well and penetrate to the to the basket. But I feel like my role is still the same. I mean, I just need to lead, lead by example and be a dog in the paint. And just like I said, be be strong on them rebounds and not let nobody tip tip the balls out of my hand. Ben? Jeremiah, when you have taken on this new leadership role, is there anybody you've played with uh, since you've been here that you think back to and, and try to model your your leadership after that that you learned from? Um, I mean, I could say Kevin Perrier. I mean, he did a good job my freshman year as lean by example and making sure everybody was always on time and he always spoke at practice if he was doing something wrong. And like I said, if, if I'm in the gym all the time, they gonna stand on what I'm saying because of, I mean, they know I'm working. So I got, like I said, lead by example. I can't just be telling somebody to do something if I'm not putting the work in too. Dave, do you have another one? No. 
I think you're good too. Thank you, Shane. Appreciate it.